Morning everyone, welcome to MRTB Mitch Reads the Bible. Do you think I look 10 years younger <laughs> now that I shaved my beard and it's short? Um, maybe not, maybe I still look old. It's still very grey. My moustache is holding on though, and still browny colour. Uh, we're in Mark 4 21 to 25, short reading today. He said to them, Is a lamp brought and put. Uh, let me start again. He said to them, Is a lamp brought in to be put under a bushel basket or under a bed and not on the lampstand? For there is nothing that is hidden except to be disclosed, as, and there's nothing secret except to come to light. Let anyone with ears hear and listen. And he said to them, Pay attention to what you hear. The measure you give will be the measure you get, and still more will be given to you. For those who have, more will be given. And from those who have nothing, even what they have will be taken away. Um, to be honest, this is one of the harder parables that I've had to explain to you. <laughs> how to explain something like that in, um, in four minutes. Um, I think the beginning part is easy enough when you really think about it. Uh, N.T. Wright, a theologian, he says... Um, he talks about it like this. He talks about how he was um, uh, he was in a parade um, heading towards Westminster Abbey. He's he, he's from England, um, and he was at the, there's a choir singing at the front of this parade, and so he decided to stand at the back. And he was singing. He loved singing, so he was singing his lungs out, um, assuming that no one could hear him at the back of this choir. But he was giving the keynote speech at Westminster Abbey, and he had a microphone on. And as he walked into the church, his microphone was switched on and everyone could hear him singing and hearing how ridiculous he sounds. And he says the first bit of his parable is basically saying, you know, do you put a microphone on not to use it? Or when you hold a microphone, do you cover it over the top um, so people can't hear what you're saying? He says, no, the point of a microphone is that it will amplify... Um, It'll amplify your voice. It's the same here with light. Do you put a light? Do you cover a light over? Like, do you light? Do you, do you light a candle, or do you put on a light just to cover it over so no one can see it? No, that's ridiculous. Um, it kind of completely defeats the point of a light. And he's saying, so it will be with my disciples. Um, the whole point of being a disciple of Jesus is to be the light of the world and let everyone see it. So you don't hide it away. You, you, you take it out into the public. The whole point of being a disciple is to amplify the message of Jesus so you don't cover over that microphone. Um, you speak it loud and proud um, to anyone who will hear. Um, I think one of the interesting shifts... I was going to talk about the second half of the parable. Well, let's not do that. Let's just, let's just concentrate on this one. I think one of the interesting shifts for me over the last little while... Um, has been there's a there's a whole bunch of people who are kind of embarrassed about Christianity you know they, uh, they're embarrassed to talk about it with their friends or they're embarrassed to mention that they're a Christian um, I've come across this like a whole bunch and I get it like you know there's there's some there's some not super cool things about being a Christian but these days I, I tell you I don't know if it's, I'm just getting old um I'm not embarrassed about it in the slightest. This is going to make it uncool, but I think it's cool. <laughs> I think it's interesting. Um, I love talking about it. I talk about it with my soccer team. I talk about it with strangers. Not in a forced way. It just comes up. I guess it comes up because I'm a minister. Um, so it's kind of easy for it to come up, I, I suppose. Um... But I kind of, I, I hope that's where everyone gets to. I, I tell you what else, at this course that I run for parents, um, and parents who come to the school, uh, some of them have never heard, you know, the, uh, haven't heard much of the, the stories of Jesus or the gospel. Um, and every time I run that course, and I just explained some of the basics of Christianity, like people being made in the image of God and sin, you know, pervading the world. You see people's eyes light up um, and they're drawn into this marvelous story. Now, they don't all agree with it. They don't think it's true. But but oftentimes they do see why it is so beautiful. Um, yeah. 
let's not hide this story under a bushel. Let's grab a microphone and amplify it out to the world because it is beautiful. It is interesting. It is cool, my friends. Um, we'll go with that. <laughs>